somewhere to stay in New York because I've only been there once and that was like my freshman year so it's been a minute since I've been here and when we went we stayed at a hotel but now since I'm trying to stay there for a few months it's like been really hard because like either things are too expensive or I can find something that I can work with but they only want people from like January to May my internship ends in April so I was thinking about doing something like NYC intern or um, I think it's education housing I can't remember but like they have these places where you can stay in a dorm like setting but um, you can stay in a dorm like setting but for people with interns a dorm like setting for interns basically yeah so i was basically trying to do that because i feel like they would have the most amenities be less hassle it would be a little more expensive but like i feel like it was worth it seeing that i'm not even originally from there and i do kind of want to be close or near the place i'm interning at but y'all the struggle is real like it's like when you get one thing it's like two steps forward one step back type thing like because i need to hurry up I don't, I have less than a month, excuse me, I have less than a month to find a place to live. I don't need nothing fancy, I just, I honestly, I just need somewhere to lay my head. I'm trying to take as few things as possible. I'm thinking like two suitcases max, and that's like clothes, shoes, toiletries. And that's basically it, like, I'm not trying to take a whole bunch of stuff. Um, obviously, I need to bring my laptop, and... You know, just, you know, stuff that you need, especially for the internship. But other than that, I'm trying to take two suitcases, max, um, just stuff I need. I also got eight o'clock this morning because I feel like I'm just so eager to find something. I just want to feel secure in knowing that I have somewhere to go. for me because I need somewhere to live and I'm not turning down this offer because I can't find somewhere to live like it's not happening so <laughs> yeah three-bedroom apartment right so this is like my temporary room and it's like a little chunky but hey again um I have a balcony I'm not gonna go out there because it's cold you can see the other buildings and like it has a bed it has like these storage places but I'm actually supposed to be in this one right here and there's a bedroom right there but since I came a little early I'm staying here until Friday and then I'm moving into this one which is smaller and a little cheaper but the kitchen is very nice nice countertops mm -hmm. and yeah it's kind of small but it's not bad and my roommates are really nice honestly I feel like my roommates I like vegans or vegetarians because when I came yesterday I met one and she's from New Zealand she's really cool but um she has said that she had made a vegan pizza and then the other one told me that I should try artichoke pizza and then the other roommate made chicken nuggets and broccoli so definitely weight loss motivation because I had Chinese takeout so 
Thanks for making me feel bad, guys. Make it do what we do when we need to do it, okay? This is nice, okay. This door is so heavy. But this is the lounging area. Okay. Okay, this is nice. I'm definitely gonna be out here to take pictures. That's a no-brainer. Hey, self. All of these mirrors, they know I'm conceited. Oh my goodness. This is nice. I had to take my, my bonnet down because I need y'all to know that my hair is done. Okay. But um, what was interesting to me is the fact that these walls are like man-made. I think this was like a really a one-bedroom apartment. But... They added these walls so it can be a three bedroom. Cause I think like, you know, this is a kitchen that could probably have been like a living room area or this is a living room area. I don't know, but you know, for one person, this would be a lot of space. But since this is only, I mean, you know, to save money because my rent is like 990 and that's for that one. This one is like 10, like 1,050 can't remember but it was like a $60 difference but since I'm in there I kind of want to keep it but we also want to save our coins so yeah so I think that's kind of smart um because when I was um like learning more about the place and talking about signing leases and stuff they was like okay you have to pay for the wall and the stuff in the room and I understood the stuff in the room like you know the desk the stuff I hang like my clothes and all of that stuff like it's so this is so new to me and i got my case on the floor and everything but um yeah they was like you have to pay for the wall and i'm like the wall what's what's the wall <laughs> i was so confused but now that i'm here i get it because when she took the pictures you know it just didn't look like that i mean so it's cool you know i'm not really picky as long as it's clean as long as everyone is cool and as long as i don't have to worry about my stuff while i'm here i am straight I'm a little nervous to go outside. The thing that makes me most nervous is the subway. I have come to New York before, but it was like three years ago, and I only stayed for a week. And even then, like, it took me towards, like, the end of the trip to get used to the subway. So I don't mind having to take the subway. I just want to get used to um, taking it. We gonna work this out. This is a journey. This is an experience. <laughs> we gonna figure it out. But in the meantime, I'm gonna eat because I'm hungry and we gonna get it started. <laughs>